and roll. It's not for, for sissies. That's what I got. Jenny has to list. We're gonna work down it together. Number one, I'm gonna bend something. Something that was not meant to bend. I'm gonna stop you right there because I'm not gonna make it to two. I won't even make it to one. I don't do well with pain, you know. I stub my toe, I'm, I'm done for the day. I cried when they canceled Felicity. <laughs> when I get really scared, I get nervous erections. I have one right now. Don't look at it, it'll only make it worse. I don't want you to hurt me and I'll tell you anything, anything you wanna know. <sighs> Except for where they are. Russell's in a convoy heading southbound on Jerry Duggan Parkway. The monster's with them. I wouldn't Go fuck with him. Plan. Intercept the convoy, grab the boy, but not inappropriately. You know, it's like if I say something about women or yes. whatever, I think a lot of that is more or less me just dealing with issues with, you know, old issues with my mom or whatever. With your mother. Or, yeah, or, or, you know, when I say things about gay people or people think that my lyrics are homophobic, mm -hmm. you know, it's because I'm gay. Um, when I rap about violence Wait. or, you know, sound like I'm promoting violence. I think that, uh, you know, it's more or less what? What? because, what? you know, it's kind of about, uh, it's kind of about me just, you know, confronting it. What did he just say? Wow. Where, can we no. play this? He what said he was gay. Did he just, Dave? He just said he was gay. We're pretty sure in the booth, we just heard him say he was gay. M. Let's just back it up a moment. You just said that you were gay? Um, and I'm just curious what you meant by that, exactly. I mean, I'm gay. Uh, I'm just a little confused here, because gay can mean a lot of things. I am a homosexual. Meaning? I like men. What the fuck just happened? Eminem just said he was gay four times. That's what the fuck just happened. Holy shit. Holy shit. Eminem's gay on our show. Eminem's gay on our show. Oh my god. Number two. Number two. Change the Chiron. Eminem gay? Question mark, exclamation mark. Dave, keep him talking. Keep him talking. Oh my god. Holy shit. Put your gay Eminem. This is the greatest moment in gay history. Are probably shocked by what you're saying right now. I'm more shocked that people haven't figured it out yet. I mean, it's kind of like I've been playing gay peekaboo. Gay peekaboo. Yeah. But, um. Thank you. Dave, look, I got the lyrics. Say what I say. What, what did you mean when you rapped? I said nice rectum. I had a vasectomy, Hector. So you can't get pregnant if I bisexually wreck you. I've pretty much just been leaving a breadcrumb trail of gayness. I see that now. You know? But yeah, actually, Hector Hector was a was a real person. Hector and his rectum were real. Oh, Holy shit! Hector's oh. rectum is real! Yes. 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 Ain't you guys glad you got a black man for a friend? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Come on. Okay. Hazen has a rating system for every con. What's three stars? The more prone to violence that the inmate is, the more stars he gets. Five stars is the max. I didn't know that. Yeah. Let's see how many stars my maniacal ass got. Wow. Well, half a star, that's got to be a mistake. Ch check it again. Check it again. You're about as maniacal as a box full of kittens. Come on, that's not funny, man. I'm, I'm going to have to stab somebody or something and get my rep up. Why don't we have a maniacal pillow fight tonight? I could get it up, so. Yeah. We could sell it to pay-per-view. Superstar versus half a star. <laughs> Why don't you shut up before I slit your throat and watch the dust come out? Come on, guys. We only got a couple minutes. How about this guy? Damn, this fool got the chair three times. Ain't died yet. All right, how else can we get alcohol? Yo, guys. What's up? Fogo, where have you been, man? You almost gave me a goddamn heart attack. Let me see it. You pussy out or what? No, no, man. I got it. It's flawless. Check it. Hawaii. Mm -hmm. All right, that's, that's good. It's Hard to trace, I guess. Wait, you changed your name to McLovin? Uh. McLovin? What kind of a stupid name is that, Fogel? What are you trying to be, an Irish R&B singer? Oh, they, they let you pick any name you want when you get down there. And you landed on McLovin? Yeah, it was between that and Muhammad. Why the fuck would it be between that or Muhammad? Why don't you just pick a common name like a normal person? Muhammad is the most commonly used name on earth. Read a fucking book for once. Fogel, have you ever actually met anyone named Muhammad? Have you actually ever met anyone named McLovin? No, that's why you picked a dumb fucking name. Fuck you. Give me that. All right. You look like a future pedophile in this picture, number one. Number two, you 
doesn't even have a first name. It just says McLovin. What? What name? What name? Who are you, Seal? Fogel, this ID says you're 25 years old. Why wouldn't you just put 21, man? Seth, 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 listen up, ass face. Every day, hundreds of kids go into the liquor store with their fake IDs, and every single one says they're 21. Just how many 21-year-olds do you think there are in this town? It's called fucking strategy, all right? Let's stay calm, okay? Let's not lose our heads. No. It's, it's, it's a fine ID. It'll, it's gonna work. It's passable, okay? This, this isn't terrible. I mean, it's up to you, Fogel. This guy's either gonna think, here's another kid with a fake ID, or here's McLovin, the 25-year-old Hawaiian organ donor. Okay, so what's it gonna be? I am McLovin. Uh. No, you're not. No one's McLovin. McLovin's never existed because that's a made-up, dumb, fucking fairy tale name, you fuck! Jeez, man, it'll work. Give it a chance. Don't text in my class anymore, okay? Everyone take out your workbooks. What do you want? We gotta talk. I don't work. Don't mess with me. Please, for the love of God, please talk to me in private for one minute. I'll be right back. Just do stuff. Well, well, well. Look who wants to apologize. Well, you know what? It's gonna take a lot more than some pathetic groveling. Shut up, okay? okay? I don't want to apologize to you. Then what do you want? Because we have nothing left to say to each other. Last night, two guys in masks jumped me and strapped a bomb to my chest, and now I have less than nine hours to rob a bank. You're hysterical. Great joke. I'm gonna go back to my class. What is this? What the fuck? Is that thing real? I am not fucking around here. Two guys did this to me, and if I don't rob that bank in time, this thing is gonna blow. Seriously? Seriously. And your first thought was to come to a school filled with young children? Well, I guess I don't really think about it. Just back away. Okay. Back away, back okay, away, back away, back away, back away. I mean, I think the vest is probably safe for now. I mean, these guys don't want me to blow up on accident before I get them their money, right? Oh, yeah. So you figure the two psychopaths that put a bomb on your chest made sure it was safe. There's no margin for error in their fucking bomb mess design. I don't know. I don't know. All I do know is that this is real. Okay? This is real. This is happening. But I have nowhere else to go. What? I need your help, okay? I can't do this alone. Damn it. I want to tell you to get fucked. I know. But I can't. Because I'm a better man than you. If I let you go and you explode or whatever... Shit will come back and eat in my conscience and affect my relationships with other people, like my future wife and kids and shit. We having a picnic or something one day, and I would just be like, oh, damn it, I shouldn't have let Nick explode at that time. That's a very rational way to look at the situation. John, I need to talk to you. No, not right now. Well, what's wrong with you? Why well, you got the weird look all over your face? Claire's mom just made me grab her hooters. Well, snap out of it. What, a hot older woman made you feel her cans? Stop crying like a little girl. I wasn't crying like a little girl. Why don't you try getting jacked off under the table in front of the whole damn family and have some real problems? Jackass. What were they like anyway? They look pretty good. Are they real? Are they built for speed or for comfort? What'd you do with them? Motorboat? You play the motorboat? <laughs> you motorboat and son of a bitch. You old sailor, you. Where is she? She's still in the house? What is wrong with you? What do you mean, what's wrong with What's wrong with you? No, what's wrong with you? No, what's wrong with you? You're projecting. Drop it. You drop it. You stop projecting on me. Why don't you go enjoy yourself while I go ice my balls and spit up blood? Drop it! Team player. So you think you got what it takes? I'll tell you what I got. Your wife's pussy on my breath. Nobody's ever talked to me like that before. That's because everyone's mouth is usually full of your wife's box. You're hired. Shit. You know what I just did? I just walked out that door, saw a couple detectives, and I was about to start bad-mouthing you behind your back. But I stopped myself because my pops taught me that a man who talks behind somebody's back is a coward. Wow, I actually appreciate that. Good, because I'm going to tell you directly to your face. No, you don't have to. No, I don't like you. I think you're a fake cop. The sound of your piss hitting the urinal? It sounds feminine. Mm -hmm. If we were in the wild, I would attack you. Even if you weren't in my food chain, I would go out of my way to attack you. If I were a lion and you were a tuna, I would swim out in the middle of the ocean and freaking eat you. And then I'd bang your tuna girlfriend. Okay, first off, a lion swimming in the ocean? Lions don't like water. If you'd placed it near a river or some sort of fresh water source, that makes sense. But you find yourself in the ocean, 20-foot waves, I'm assuming it's off the coast of South Africa, coming up against a full grown 800 pound tuna with his 20 or 30 friends you lose that battle you lose that battle nine times out of ten 
And guess what? You've wandered into our school of tuna, and we now have a taste of lion. We've talked to ourselves. We've communicated yeah. and said, you know what? Lion tastes good. Let's go get some more lion. We've developed a system to establish a beachhead and aggressively hunt you and your family. And we will corner your, your pride, your children, your offspring. How are you going to do that? We will construct a series of breathing apparatus with kelp. We will be able to trap certain amounts of oxygen. It's not going to be days at a time, but an hour, hour 45, no problem. That will give us enough time to figure out where you live, go back to the sea, get more oxygen, and then stalk you. You just lost your own game. You're outgunned and outmanned. Did that go the way you thought it was going to go? Nope. Oh! Oh! Joe! Joe! Who the fuck are you? I'm Mr. Burnett. I'm Reggie. What you doing here? I came to take out Megan. What? I came to take out Megan. How old are you? I'm 15, Mr. Burnett. Motherfucker, you look 30. Show me some ID. I don't have none on me. You don't have no idea. Get your ass up against that wall. What the fuck is your problem? You think you know it all. You little young thundercat. You got joints on you? No. You smoke that shit? No, sir. You trying to get my daughter high? You smoke Marcus. that shit? Nigga, who that is? It's Reggie. Who the fuck is Reggie? You came to take Megan out. What you want, nigga? I'm here to take his, his daughter out. What's your name? Reggie. Well, no, y'all heard the motherfucker say your name Reggie. You want you taking Megan out? Yes, sir. How old is you? 15. Shit, nigga, you at least 30. This is my. Did you fight? Oh, my God.